So the songs right now are feel fairly finished, except for now, it's almost like we're, now we're putting the foundation in. You know, it's imagine like building a house and having the house, and it's like, but where's the foundation? And so now these guys come in, and they're just both phenomenal musicians. Uh, and I think that they're breathing a whole new life into the song and really lifting the songs up. And so I'm thrilled the way it's turned out. We did the drums and bass at Sage and Sam, which was next to the last part of the process of making the repeat record. And uh, I chose um, this drummer named Victor Andrizzo, who uh, has really, really become in my in my world, like, and a lot of other people's worlds, like this this incredible drummer who has so much musicality in his playing, and he has a lot of power, and he knows how to be very dynamic in a song. Victor has this ability to be able to take a, an existing track and be able to play drums in, uh, on top of uh, um, drum beats from a, from a drum machine or anything. And usually, usually when you program stuff, it's very rigid and, and machine-like. And he's able to play in perfect harmony with this drum machine, but give it a little more ebb and flow. And, um, and, and that's no easy feat. It's, it's, it's very difficult for most drummers to be able to play, you know, in the pocket and, and have a right amount of dynamics without sounding too stiff. He's really mastered that. And on bass, we brought in uh, Justin Meldell Johnson, who is um, uh, one of Beck's longest, longtime players. He's uh, he's quite a character, and, and he brings a vast array of, of sounds. He's always experimenting on you know new, colorful bass sounds. And not only can he be a, a creative bass player. But he also knows when to keep it real simple, and sometimes it's just playing the root note and playing something that is just very simple and doesn't have too much color. So he really knows when it's when it's right, 